What's up guys, Strax here. Today I'm going to show you guys the top four best tryout outfits to make using clothing glitches. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the first outfit. Hey guys, are you looking to boost your account or get a modded account? Well, Set by Mods is the best place as of right now to buy modded accounts. You can see they're very trustworthy with a 4.6 rating and 2,800 reviews. You guys can see all the ratings are within the last few days or the last few months, and they are all very good. So it looks like people are really enjoying this. So I would recommend go ahead and buying off said by mods. On the GTA 5 modded accounts, you guys can see it ranges from $30 to under $200. It is very cheap and very reliable. So all you want to do is go ahead and click on the category of whichever console you're on, and you guys will be able to see all the accounts you can buy for your console. Now, if you are wanting to boost your own personal account, you guys can see it ranges anywhere from $5 up to $300. It is very cheap compared to anywhere else. So you guys get money boosters, level boosters, or unlock booster, and it is very cheap. So all you want to do, if you guys are looking for this, I will leave a link at the top of the description. And if you guys want a discount on any of these, it is discount code Estrax. I'll leave it right here on the screen. And I hope you guys enjoy, and let's just get back to the video. For this first glitched outfit, I'm going to go and take off the parachute real quick, but you're going to want to head over here to the tops, scroll down until you do find t-shirts, which will be on slot 26. And you're going to need to make sure you have the red t-shirt, which is right here on slot 17. After you guys have made sure you have the red t-shirt, back out of t-shirts, and scroll down until you do find tank tops. Tank tops will be right here on slot 47. Click on tank tops and look for the red smuggler tank on slot 14. Now equip the red smuggler tank. Once you have done this, back out of your tops. We're now going to go over here to the shorts or the pants section. Click on shorts, which is going to be on slot 3, and equip the harsh souls checked boards on slot 84. Once you've done this, back out of the pants section, head over here to your accessories, click on gloves on slot 7, and equip the black fingerless gloves on slot 56. After you've done this, that will be all for your accessories. Now for the shoes, click on skate shoes on slot 3, and equip and look for the red skate shoes on slot 13. After you do equip the red skate shoes, back out. Now we're going to do the logo merge, or basically we're going to get rid of the logo on this tank top. So just head to your apartment for this glitch. Once you have made it to your apartment, go into the changing clothes area. Then you're just going to want to click on your tops. Scroll down to t-shirts. For me, t-shirts will be right here on slot 27. Maybe it's on a different slot for you, but click on t-shirts and look for the red t-shirt. So after you find the red t-shirt, hover over it, click on it. After you are hovering over the red t-shirt, you're now going to want to hit pause and join off of one of your friends in the GTA pause menu. If you don't have somebody on there, go to online, go to cruise. You can join somebody from your crew or your friend's cruise or suggested cruise. But for me, I normally go to the leaderboard, find somebody on the IGN crew. And once you do find somebody that you can join off of, you're just going to want to try to join their session. And you should see that the logo disappears off the tank top. And you guys can see after you load back into a session, the logo disappears off the tank top. Now go back to the clothing store, go over here to the tops, go to utility vest on slot 58, and you're going to look for the peach plate carrier, which is on slot 44. After you do equip the peach plate carrier, back out of your tops. Now take off any head accessories that your character does have. And then this is what your outfit should look like. After your outfit looks like this, go up here to the front counter. You're then just going to want to go ahead and just hit edit saved outfits and save this outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save the outfit, back out of your edit saved outfits, scroll down through your clothing until you find heist coveralls on slot 13 and scroll down from slot 9 through slot 12 and equip one of these outfits with the toxic mask. After you've done this, back out of the front counter and we're going to head over here to the pier for the telescope glitch. After you find the telescope on the pier, just do the telescope glitch, run by the telescope like this, you'll hit right on the d-pad, you'll see your character run in place, then look towards the telescope, that's how you know you're glitched, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, and equip the outfit you've just saved, which should look like this, put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and the mask will merge together with the outfit just like this. All we're going to do now is head to a gun store. When you do make it to the gun store, go over here to the top section, hit edit saved outfits, and save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save your outfit, you can then just go ahead and back out of your tops. Now we're going to start up a job. So hit pause, go to online, click on jobs, click on play job, click on Rockstar created, click on missions, look for the job that's called a Titan of a job and fully start up that mission. And when you load to the job, you will see that you're not wearing the peach plate carrier anymore. So go over here to your tops, hit edit saved outfits and save your outfit on any slot that you want. After you do have, after you have saved your outfit, back out of your tops, pull up your phone and just quit the job from your phone. 
Once you are back in a public or an invite only session, run back inside the gun store, go over here to your tops, scroll down to vest, which will be on slot 52 and equip any vest that looks like this. After you have, after you have equipped a vest, back out of the vest, go to vest shirts on slot 53, and you're gonna equip the red band vest shirt on slot 12. After you do equip the red band vest shirt, back out of your tops and now we're going to do the merge glitch so i will leave a link in the description for it's a g thing and you guys can bookmark that job and do that but for me i'm going to do the heist department merge so i will get back to you when i am at my apartment when you do make it to your apartment go into the heist planning board room and go up here to the heist planning board and out of all the five heist start the first one that's called the flag job and you need to complete the first mission which is called scope out and the second job you guys will need to be which is going to be called kuruma so just launch that mission when you're in the crewman job, set your heist clothing to player saved outfits and then you can confirm your settings and invite whoever you want like a random or a friend and when someone does join, launch the job. Now that you're in here where it shows your owned outfits, scroll to the slot to wherever you did save the outfit which should look like this. Whenever your outfit looks like this, hit ready to play. After you have loaded into the job, just pull up your phone and quit the job from your phone. Now that you have made it back into a public or an invite only session, you're going to want to find a car. It doesn't matter if it's your personal vehicle or a random civilian car on the street, but go ahead and get inside that car. Now pull up your interaction menu and register as a secure serve CEO or a motorcycle club. Now pull up your interaction menu up again, click on secure serve CEO or a motorcycle club, then go to management, go to style, and on your studio style or MC style, scroll one time to the left and then one time to the right back to none. Now hop out of the car and you will see that the tank top merges with the red band vest shirt just like this. Now, we're going to head over here to the clothing store so we can get the head accessories. Once you do make it to the clothing store, go over here to the hats. Go to bulletproof helmets, which will be on slot 19, and you're going to equip the black bulletproof helmet. Once you've done this, back out of the hats. Go over here to the glasses. Go to glow glasses, and you're going to equip the red glow shades. You guys only got these if you did log on on a certain day, so probably most of you don't have them, but hopefully some of you do. But after you do equip the red glow shades, back out of your glasses, and we're going to head over here to the mask store for this outfit. After you make it to the mask store, go over here to the mask, scroll down to ski mask on slot 20, and you're going to look for the red and black ski mask, which will be right here. So it's going to be the black and red tight ski on slot 30. After you do equip the tight ski, you should see that it does merge with your helmet just like this. Now we're going to head over here to the pier so then we can do the telescope glitch and merge the glasses over with this outfit. When you have made it to the telescope, just do the telescope glitch. So run by the telescope like this, press right on the d-pad, your character will run in place. Then look sort the telescope, that's how you know you're glitched. Pull up your interaction menu, go to your style, go to your accessories, and scroll through your glasses until you do find the red glow shades, which will look like this, your mask will come off. But you guys don't need to worry, put away your interaction menu. Walk away from the telescope and the mask will merge together with the glasses and helmet just like this. Now for the final component, which is going to be the parachute, pull up your interaction menu, go to your style, go to your parachute, set it to on, and have it set to the black combat shoe bag. If you don't have the black combat shoe bag, then you will want to go to a gun store, go up to the front counter, go to parachute, go to parachute bags, and then buy the black combat shoe bag. And after you have done that, back up to the front counter, pull up your interaction menu, go to your style, go to parachute, set it to on, and it'll be on your character just like this and that's pretty much it for the outfit so if you are wondering what it looks like in the pause menu this is what it looks like and that's pretty much it so now we can move on to the second clothing glitch okay guys so for the second outfit i'm going to show you guys on how to make the tan joggers outfit that you see in the thumbnail you're going to want to head over here to this location on the map because we're going to be using the stunt race and this clothing store so whenever you do get here to this location make sure you have this job if you don't pull up your interaction menu go to map blimp options click on jobs go to stun races and if it is set to hide like this press right on the d-pad once to set it to show and now it will be here after you have had the job show up on the map you're going to want to keep your interaction menu up go to secure serve ceo start an organization now pull up your interaction menu up again click on secure serve ceo go to management go to style and look for the warlord outfit which will give you the tan joggers that look like this you can now put away your interaction menu once you are wearing the warlord outfit walk into the blue circle like this and just press right on the d-pad to enter after you've entered you don't need to change anything in the settings you can then just confirm the settings and then launch the job on your own after you do launch the job on your own it's going to show your motorcycles just scroll through the motorcycles for at least a few seconds and once you have done this you can just fully quit the job and you should see that you are wearing the outfit 
you had on before the Warlord. After you are wearing your outfit you had on before the Warlord, you're now just going to want to run inside the clothing store as quick as you can and go up here to the front counter and you're just going to sit here at the front counter for at least 5 to 10 seconds, maybe 10 to 15 seconds until it kicks you out of the front counter. And once it does, you should see that you are wearing the Warlord outfit just like this. Now go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, click on Secure Surf CEO and retire. When you have retired, you can now just go ahead and create the jogger's outfit that you see in the thumbnail. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys on how to create that outfit. To create this outfit, you're going to want to go over here to your tops, scroll down until you do find gun running t-shirts, which will be on slot 28, and you're going to equip the gray woodland t-shirt on slot 12. After you've done this, you can then just back out of your tops. We don't need to worry about the pants since we do have the tan joggers. Go over here to your accessories, click on cuffs on slot 8, and for your left arm, you're going to equip the black gauntlet, which is on slot 22. And if you guys scroll down to slot 60, I believe it's going to be right here on slot 60. It's going to be the black gauntlet for your right arm. Once you have equipped the gauntlet, the black gauntlets for your left and right arm, back out of cuffs, go to gloves on slot 7, and equip the black woolen gloves on slot 58. When you, got, when you do have the cuffs and the gloves, that's all for your accessories. Now for the shoes, you're going to go to slip-ons on slot 12, and equip the black canvas slip-ons on slot 10. Once you've done this, back out of your shoes, go over here to your hats, and then you're going to go to bulletproof helmets on slot 19, and just buy the tan bulletproof. When you do buy the tan bulletproof, back out of the hats, and we're going to go over here to the mask store for this outfit. Before we do go into the mask, you're going to want to equip the body armor. So to do this, pull up your interaction menu, go to inventory, go to body armor, go to show armor, and set it to the standard armor, which is this black vest right here. Whenever you have done this, you can now go into the mask, scroll down to crime on slot 9, and you're going to equip the black t-shirt mask on slot 56. After you've done this, we're now going to head over here to the pier for the telescope glitch. After you find a telescope on the pier, just do the telescope glitch. So run by the telescope like this, press right on the D-pad, your character will run in place. Then look towards the telescope, that's how you know you're glitched. Pull up your interaction menu, go to your style, go to your accessories, and scroll through your helmets until you do find the tan bulletproof, which will look like this. After you find the tan bulletproof, your mask will come off, just put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and the mask and the helmet will merge together just like this. And that's pretty much it for the outfit. So now you can just go to the clothing store, save it on whichever slot you want. This is what the outfit looks like in the pause menu. Pretty basic and clean tan joggers outfit in my opinion. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So now we can just move on to the third clothing glitch outfit. So for this third outfit, you're just gonna wanna go ahead and go up here to the front counter and you're gonna scroll down until you do find the heist tactical stealth, which will be right here on slot 20 and you're gonna look for the pincer outfit. The only reason I'm saying the pincer outfit is because it gives you the pants and the boots together. For some reason, if you guys go to the shoe section and then you guys have these jeans on it, for some reason it doesn't go together, I don't know why. But after you do equip the pincer outfit, you can then just back out, go over here to your accessories. You're then just gonna click on gloves, which is on slot seven, and you're gonna equip the black fingerless gloves on slot 56. After you do equip the black fingerless gloves, that's all for your accessories. Now you're going to want to go over here to your tops because I did forget one thing is whenever you do get to your tops, go to utility vest, which will be on slot 58. And you're going to look for the peach plate carrier, which is on slot 44. And it will look like this. After you do equip the peach plate carrier, you can then just back out of your tops. And then this is what your outfit should look like. After your outfit does look like this, go up to the front counter and then you're just going to want to save the outfit on any slot that you want. After you have saved the outfit, you can then just back out of your edit saved outfits. Now scroll down until you find heist coveralls on slot 13, and you're gonna scroll down from slot nine through slot 12 and just equip one of these outfits with the toxic mask. After you do equip one of these outfits, you can then just back out of the front counter and then we're gonna head to the pier for the telescope glitch. You are on the pier and you found a telescope, just do the telescope glitch, run by the telescope, press right on the d-pad, your character will run in place, then look towards the telescope, pull up your interaction menu, and you're going to equip the outfit that we just saved at the clothing store, which should look like this. Put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, the mask will merge over to your outfit, just like this, and all we're going to do now is just head to a gun store. After you've made it to the gun store, go over here to the top section, and then you're just going to want to hit edit saved outfits, and just save this outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save your outfit, 
you can then just back out of the tops and now we're going to start up a job so hit pause go to online click on jobs click on play job click on rockstar created click on missions look for the job that's called a titan of a job and you're going to fully start up that mission after you load into the mission you'll see that your character's not wearing the peach plate carrier anymore now you're just going to want to go back over here to your tops hit edit saved outfits and save your outfit on any slot that you want once again after you do save your outfit back out of your tops and now you can pull up your phone and just quit the job from your phone when you are back in a public or an invite only session we're going to go ahead and get the garbage vest so to do this you guys will need to go ahead and have your friend host this job so tell him to hit pause go to jobs go to play job go to rockstar created you're then just going to go to missions and look for the job that is called into the wild when your friend has invited you to the job make sure he sets the clothing to themed once he has set the clothing to themed you guys can launch the job whenever you're ready now that you're in here all your friend needs to do is change the outfits to the garbage vest and you should see that they do look like that now switch to the other team and you should have the orange garbage vest and have your friend switch back to the other team and then you can hit ready to play after you load into the job you're now just going to want to pull up your interaction menu go to style go to illuminating clothing which is on slot 16 and scroll through illuminating clothing for at least 30 seconds after you have scrolled through illuminating clothing for at least 30 seconds you're now going to want to go ahead and just go to your home xbox or playstation home and you're going to sit here until your friend tells you that you got kicked from the job. Whenever your friend has told you that you got kicked from the job, you're going to want to load back into the GTA app, and then it should tell you that you got kicked. And after, after it does say that you got kicked, you're then just going to want to hit continue and load back into a session. When you are back in a public or an invite only session, you should see that you are wearing the garbage man outfit. Now all you're going to want to do is head to your apartment so then we can do the merge glitch. When you make it to your apartment, go into the highest planning board room and go up here to the highest planning board and out of all the five highest start, the first one that's called the fleek job and you're going to need to complete the first mission which is going to be called scope out and whenever you are here on the second one which is going to be called kruma, launch that mission. When you are in the job, set your heist clothing to player saved outfits and then you can conf confirm your settings and then invite whoever you want like a random or a friend and when someone does join, launch the job. Now that you're here where it shows your owned outfits, scroll to the slot to wherever you did save the outfit which should look just like this. When your outfit looks like this, hit ready to play. After you've loaded into the job, all you're going to want to do now is pull up your phone and quit the job from your phone. Once you are back in a session, you're going to want to find a vehicle. It doesn't matter if it's your personal vehicle or a random civilian car on the street, but once you do find a car, get inside that vehicle. Now pull up your interaction menu and register as a secure serve CEO or a motorcycle club. Once you've done this, pull up your interaction menu up again, click on secure serve CEO or motorcycle club, then go to management, go to style, and on your CEO style or MC style, scroll one time to the left and then one time to the right back to none. Now hop out of the car and you will see that the trashed vest merges over to your outfit just like this. We're now going to go ahead and get certain head accessories, so just head over here to the clothing store. After you have made it to the clothing store, you're going to want to go over here to the hats, go to bulletproof helmet, which will be on slot 19, and buy the black bulletproof. After you do buy the black bulletproof helmet, back out of the hats, go over here to the glasses. You're now going to go to sports glasses, and you're going to look for the orange urban ski goggles, which will be right here on slot 23. After you do equip or buy the orange urban ski goggles, back up the glasses and we're now going to head over here to the mask store for this outfit when you have made it to the mask store go over here to the mask go to crime on slot 9 and look for the black t-shirt mask which will be right here on slot 56 after you do equip the black t-shirt mask back up the mask store and we're going to head over here to the pier for the telescope glitch when you find a telescope on the pier, just do the telescope glitch. So run by the telescope like this, press red pad, your character will run in place, then look towards the telescope, that's how you know you're glitched. Pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, and scroll through your helmets until you find the black bulletproof helmet, which will look like this. Your mask will come off, but you guys don't need to worry. Put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and the mask and helmet will merge together just like this. Now we're going to merge the glasses over, or the goggles, so do the telescope glitch again. Run by the telescope, press right on the d-pad, you'll see that your character runs in place, then looks towards the telescope, pull up your interaction menu, go to your style, go to your accessories, and you're going to scroll through your glasses until you do find the orange urban ski, which will look like this. Your mask will come off, just put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the goggles merge with your mask and helmet, 
just like this. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now you can just go to the clothing store, save the outfit on whichever slot you want, and that's pretty much it. If you are wondering what it looks like on the pause menu, here you guys go, that will be all. So now let's just move on to the third clothing glitched outfit. For the fourth and final clothing glitched outfit, you're gonna wanna go up here to the front counter, go to the diamond casino heist on slot 51, and go to the orderly armor, which is on slot one, and you're gonna equip the cautious outfit because it gives you the long dress shirt outfit. After you do equip the cautious outfit, if you don't have this unlocked, then you can go ahead and back out of the front counter, go over here to the tops, go to office shirts on slot 51, and you can equip one of these, which is the white office unbuttoned, or you can go to the cream office unbuttoned, or there's also this one that's gonna be called the ivory office unbuttoned. So you can use one of those three. But after you do have an office shirt or the, the cautious office shirt, you can then just back out of your tops, go over here to the pants section. You're then just gonna click on suit pants on slot six and equip the black slim fit on slot 32. After you've done this, back out of your pants, go over here to your accessories, click on gloves on slot seven and equip the black cotton gloves on slot 53. After you've done this, that will be all for your accessories. Now for the shoes, go to sport shoes on slot nine and look for the all white sport shoes on slot 28. After you do equip the all white sport shoes, back out of your shoes, go over here to your hats, go to bulletproof helmets on slot 19 and equip the black bulletproof. After you have done that, now head over here to the glasses. You're gonna look for gun range glasses and equip or look for the white gun glasses, which will be on slot four and equip those glasses on your character. After you have done this, back out of the glasses. Now for the body armor, pull up your interaction menu, go to your inventory, go to your body armor, go to your show armor and set it to the standard armor, which is this black vest right here. After you have done that, we can now head over here to the mask store for this outfit. When you do find the mask store, go over here to the mask, go to ski mask on slot 20 and equip the black tie ski on slot 89. After you've done this, back out of the mask and now we're gonna head over here to the pier for the telescope glitch. Whenever you find a telescope on the pier, just do the telescope glitch, run by the telescope like this, press right on the D-pad, you'll see that your character runs in place, then look towards the telescope, that's how you know you're glitched. Pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, and scroll through your glasses until you do find the white gun glasses. You will see that your mask does come off, but you guys don't need to worry. After you do find the white gun glasses, which will look like this, put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the glasses merge together with your mask and helmet, just like this. All we're gonna do now is head over here to the mask store by the strip club so then we can get the flight tube for this outfit. Now, after you've made it to the clothing store, you're gonna wanna go up here to the front counter and just save this outfit on any slot that you want. After you've saved the outfit, back out of your edit saved outfits, scroll down until you do find flight suits on slot nine and equip the black flight suit on slot two. Once you've done this, back out of the front counter and now we're just gonna go across the street over to the strip club. When you have made it here, run inside just like this. You can just go through the front door just like this. You'll see that the flight tube is off your character. Now pull up your interaction menu, go to your style, and equip the outfit we just saved at the clothing store, which should look like this. Just put away your interaction menu, walk outside the strip club, and you will see that the flight tube merges over with your outfit just like this. Now we're gonna go ahead and save it. So just go back to the clothing store. And boom, just like that. That will be all for the four glitched outfits. So we had this one, we had the trash vest one, which I do like actually. I didn't really think I would like this outfit, but I do. And then we have this one, the tan joggers outfit. And then the first one that we did create, which is the red one, which is probably actually my favorite. And yeah, that's pretty much it for these four clothing glitched outfits. So I hope you guys did enjoy these outfits. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.